over the last one and a half years, I have tried out various try-on models where we try to replace the attire or dress with the help of AI. If you go to my channel and search with try-on, you would see heaps of models and tools powered by AI. And in one way or another, all of them try to do same thing, but they fail for various reasons. And then there are a lot of limitations. Now, this new model, which is OmniTry, is trying to resolve all the issues which we have faced in the last one and a half year with various models. In this video, we are going to install it locally and we will check out if this try-on model is successful or not. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member of the channel as that helps a lot. You can find the link to the membership either in the first comment or at the home page of channel or in the tab just right next to playlist. So what exactly is this new try on model by Gunbyte? This model is a new virtual try on model that goes way beyond just clothes. You can replace sunglasses, hats, jewelry, watches, bags, you name it. Unlike most existing Vuitton or virtual try-on systems that only work for garments and require users to manually mark where the item should go, OmniTry does it all automatically and you don't really need any masks. That is a big, big thing. The big idea here is making virtual try-on practical for any wearable object even weird or rare ones and we will check it out in some of the interesting prompts after getting it installed locally so stay tuned now you don't have to force anything with this model that is their claim and i'm very very interested to check it out to pull this off what they have done they have used a very very interesting two-staged training strategy in stage one, they train the model on tons of unpaired images, basically just regular photos of people wearing stuff by first removing the wearable object, let's say a pair of earrings, and then training the model to paint it back using only a text prompt like gold hoop earrings, something like that. This teaches the model where things should go and how they should be oriented, just like a human would intuitively know. Now, there are a lot of other details too, but I will be talking later down the road about those. Let's first get try to get it installed. I'm using this Ubuntu system. I have one GPU card, NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM. Let's first get clone the repo and I will drop the link in video's description. Next step is to install all the requirements from the root of the repo. That is going to take a bit of a time. While that happens, let me also introduce you to Mast Compute. If you're looking to rent a GPU on very affordable price, you can find their link in video's description with a discount coupon code of 50%. And then our very good friends at iGent who are sponsoring this video, which is the world's first multi-agent workforce desktop application. And with this, you can build, manage and deploy a custom AI workforce. So please also do check them out. Okay, let's go back to our terminal. And everything is installed. Next up, from the root of the repo, just run this Gradio demo. And the first time when you run this, this downloads a model. So let's wait. So it is downloading these models and you can see that it is using Flux fill model behind the scene. So let's access it in our browser at localhost at port 7860. This is the demo of OmniTry from the repo. Let's try it out. I'm just going to make it slightly smaller so that everything would fit onto the screen. Let's make it a bit more. That is good enough. Now, um, this is a person's image. There is an object image, what we want to replace it with, and then we will go from there. Let me show you an example. So for instance, there is this, um, uh, on the first image, we have a pant and we want to put the belt on. All you need to do is to just go ob select object class as belt and then click on submit. And the model should very intelligently identify that while it runs. Let's also check VRAM consumption. So it is consuming close to 38 gig of VRAM, which is similar to if you use Flux with a LoRa. So you can say that it's sort of that, but with a bit more stuff. 
let's wait for it to run but you see uh, if you have watched my previous try on videos we had to create mask and a lot of things were needed to be done but in this one we are not doing anything like that no mask nothing whatsoever you don't have to mark any area like here on the waist two objects and then a text prompt or object class and that's about it there you go while we were talking and it has put the belt on uh, yep looks pretty good to me you see even the pent is coming out of the belt on the other side which is good which is fine i don't see any issues there uh, i mean let's be realistic if he wants 100 percent perfection then well we would have to wait anyway so let's try out few more stuff now so i'm just going to remove this and i'm going to also remove this let's select something from my local system so i have selected the image of this on the left hand side of one of my ai models and on in the middle there is a bridal dress now in the object class we need to i'll just click on it and then maybe i will select the dress here i'm not going to go with anything else i think this should be enough let's see if it is able to put it on and there you go i think this is simply simply wow what do you think this is a wow factor you know what let's uh, try out few more and now let's try out another one and there you go again i think outstanding job it has kept the rich texture of this fabric and also the clothing and all the design and of course i mean my eye is not that good for the design so please also advise me if you think is anything missing but i think more or less looks quite good and funnily enough um, it has copied this mannequin um, you know posture here instead of girl's posture and same we saw that in the earlier one where it also copied the complexion and tone of the uh, skin but here it has kept the skin of the model um, but look i think this is an outstanding outstanding job next up i'm just checking it if it works with the enemies you see that there is a bow tie this bow tie mm, i would i would say it has failed here you see the it has replaced the bow tie but it has really really uh, i think messed it up for the whole clothing there let's try the same bow tie with a man and ah uh, you know what my apologies my mistake i had selected the object class so i think i will just do it another one so it will fail again so let's wait for it to finish it should do the dress because i didn't select the correct object class here i'm not sure i think i saw the bow tie here but let's wait for it uh, there should be something i'll just go here and this is the bow tie you see it has model was doing the right thing it has actually put this pattern on the shirt okay so now i have selected the bow tie let's do the bow tie and the good thing is that it has kept the human image feature and everything same which is really good and we will try the enemy one again too and there you go you see model has done wonderfully well really really good and there are slight um, mistakes in the bow tie because you see this portion is in the middle is just um, you know coming out so it has just enlarged it um, it could be better but i think even then this is a try on right so we just want to see how it looks like so i think it for that it is serving the purpose and we can nitpick all we want but i think looks good enough I'm just going to go with this enemy one. I think this is the one I used earlier. And bow tie is selected. Let's check it out. And there you go. Done perfectly well. Really, really good stuff. You can also try out different parts of clothing. So you see, I have just put in this t-shirt and then it has put it on. And all you need to do is to select the object class, top clothes. And there you go, I have given it uh, an image, then the sunglasses, and it has put the sunglasses on. And there is also a reflection in the sunglasses. Pretty interesting. Interesting. And now I think this is sort of a first 
fail, I would say, uh, or partial fail because I selected the earrings and then because the head is tilted, maybe that is why. You see, it has tried to replace these earrings because this top part, it has put it on the ear. But other than that, the rest of the earring is same as the previous one. Very interesting. Next up, I'm trying to see if it can put the earrings on a cat. And thankfully it cannot, which is, I think, always a bad idea. But it can definitely put these on to the human and this time it has done quite good. So the earrings are there. So look, very, very impressive model as you just saw. Let me know your thoughts. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel. And again, please become a member of the channel. You will find the link in uh, either first comment of this video or on the home page of the channel. Just go to the membership tab and then uh, please become a member as that helps a lot. Thank you for all the support.